guys so I went into the store and just grabbed some stuff normal day uh, came back out take a look at what happened do you notice anything different about my front one of these mother <laughs> took my grill I know I know you guys called it said somebody's gonna walk away with it Obviously, somebody needed it more than I did. So, I guess the only thing I can do at this point is put back on the black one. So, if you know who did it, let me know. So, I have some damn questions. First of all, who the hell raised you to be stealing people's shit? Uh -huh. Second of all, what kind of fucking sack do you gonna need to be still in the broad daylight in a Target parking lot? You need Jesus. Third of all, this is some <laughs> After putting all that time and energy into the grill, some shady ass <laughs> stole it. And I got all that goddamn tape stuck on there too. And it's hot as f outside. It's like 100 degrees. That shit basically turned into like liquid. It's hard to take off. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow morning, hopefully. Some bullshit. I've got all sorts of questions now. And did you guys notice there was a Honda Accord 10th gen part right, parked right next to me? I need a private detective now. Anyways, just a grill, I know. I'll put back on my black one. We'll call it done. But for the love of God, get yourself a goddamn job. Or something. Anyways, I'm going inside the store again. Let's cut back to the other video. Welcome back to the vlog everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, today we are going to do just some basic stuff. Um, I got to go back and I got to correct the grill on my car. So if you've seen from the video, somebody actually took my carbon fiber grill. Some of you guys actually pointed that out. Be careful with somebody taking in the future. Um, never did I think that somebody would actually have the balls to take it, but sure enough, they did. So at this point, uh, I'm going to put back on the black cover that I had before just because I don't like the, the dark chrome. Um, but that's what we're going to do today. So before I do that, though, I got to go get a haircut because I look like a homeless person. Um, so let's go get that done first, and then we're going to come back. We are going to take a look at... The grill itself, how it sits, because um, there's still some residue and stuff on the stock Honda grill. And then we are going to put the black one back on. So let's get to it. So we're here at the barber shop. I'm actually going to show you guys one of my buddy's cars. Um, it is, I believe it's an O2 Honda Accord, um, but it's a manual and it's got a K-Series motor in it. So he actually picked this thing up for like 1500 bucks and it's a, it's a pretty cool ride. So let me show you guys real quick.
so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a little bit of a project um, obviously I've got to put back on the black grill there's a little bit of residue that's still left on the stock chrome one um, what I also want to do is I'm going to take back off the Honda emblem and then I'm gonna paint that black again so I'm leaning more towards having my front all black everything else can stay exactly the same uh, but that's what we're gonna do today so let me break out the old cover and then we're gonna get to cleaning this grill we're gonna take off the emblem and then we're gonna get it sprayed all right, so you guys remember the old cover that I had. Um, it's just gonna go back on my car. It doesn't actually have 3M tape on it anymore. Um, but luckily, if you guys remember from one of the other videos, um, when I actually put that carbon fiber grill on, I bought a sh shoot load of 3M tape. Sorry, I can't cuss because then YouTube won't monetize me. Um, so I bought, I definitely bought a lot uh, in order to be able to do something like this in the future just in case uh, Before I had any other parts that I needed to stick back on So next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this pick tool We are gonna walk over to the Accord We're gonna take off the white emblem and then we're gonna set up a little mini paint booth in here and we're gonna get it sprayed um, With some Plasti Dip. So I've, I have some Plasti Dip laying around. Uh, I actually have several cans from other projects that I worked on uh, in the past that I have it lying around, so might as well uh, spray the emblem with it. I don't have any black wrap, anything like that. I don't really want to go buy any when I have Plasti Dip. Um, but we're going to transform the front end back to the black, and we'll see how much of a difference uh, it makes. I know a lot of you guys were saying you didn't like the white too much. Uh, might as well do it all now before you know we decide to make any additional changes to the car. So let's go pull up that emblem. All right, so if you guys remember, this emblem is held on with double-sided tape. So all I'm gonna do is hook it and just start to pull it off in sections. So you can see the tape is what's holding it on. And that's it. So of course we've gotta clean the section down. Um, I'm gonna remove the double-sided tape from this as well as the wrap and then we're gonna get it sprayed. So, let's take this back over to the workbench and we'll get this project started. So now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the Plasti Dip. So I've already taken the emblem off the vehicle. You guys already saw that. Um, I actually set it up in a little makeshift, I'm gonna call it a paint booth even though it's just a cardboard box. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how I set up the emblem so I can paint it. Um, now I don't want the emblem actually touching the box. I want there to be like a little bit of a gap so that if any paint does actually drip down off the sides, it doesn't adhere the emblem to the box. So let me show you what that looks like. Again, I'm using just regular Plasti Dip, uh, nothing special, something that you can go buy at AutoZone or Home Depot, Lowe's, something like that. Um, but let's get to painting this so that we can get it on the car. So if you guys can see here, I put two little hog rings into the board. And basically all I'm doing is I'm setting this emblem on top of them. Um, now all I want is I want for there to be a little bit of a gap just like I said before I don't want any of the paint to stick to the box itself so when I try to remove the emblem when it's finished I don't ruin the finish of the emblem and I don't um, you know of course pull up any sort of, of box here so let's get to painting the emblem So Plasti Dip recommends that you let this sit for at least 30 minutes between coats. Um, so of course we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. We want this to come out you know, as, as decent as possible. Um, and then we're gonna go through the process of applying 
probably at least one more coat. Depends on this, how the final coat comes out. Um, after the first coat, the next one is gonna be uh, nice and thick and wet, and that one should be enough. Um, once that's done, then we're gonna go ahead and apply everything on the vehicle, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So we're back, this is how the emblem looks after that first coat. So now we're gonna apply the second thicker coat and once this is dried, we'll put it on the vehicle. So again, I'm gonna hit it from a couple different angles, uh, making sure that it's nice and thick and let it dry. So that's it. We're gonna let this dry for 30 minutes and then we're gonna put it on the vehicle. Now in the meantime, we are going to get the grill cleaned off. Get all these little pieces of tape off just so that we have a clean mating surface. Um, of course, get this little Honda section cleared out. So let's get to work. So now that we're ready to install these parts, let's go ahead and take off the 3M tape and get these applied to the vehicle. So as you can see, the Honda emblem is done. That's what it looks like. I've got 3M tape on the back. I'm gonna peel this off using my pick. I'm gonna peel this off and of course peel the tape off the back of that. I'm gonna start with the Honda emblem first. We're gonna go ahead and remove the tape on this, get it applied to the car once this is centered and then we'll go ahead and put the grill back on. Okay, so we're getting ready to apply this to the vehicle. All we're doing is making sure that it is lined up in its appropriate spot before we push down, which it is. So we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of force And that's it. All right, boys, so it's time to apply the covers. Um, I typically start with the middle one first, that way you can align the little eyelids after. Uh, since we got the logo or the emblem already aligned, it'll be easy to just apply this. Now, anytime that I apply it, um, I typically use my fingers and I try to match up with this line here. 
before I press it down because obviously you know a double sided tape once it's on um, you'll have a difficult time pulling it off and it's just more work for you so make sure that you align it first before you press so let me show you how to do that so as you can see here I'm using my fingers as an end mark so I can feel where this line is so I can feel with both hands So you can see now it's perfectly aligned with that edge, it's on the bottom. I was able to perfectly get it down below the Honda logo and up along this edge here. It, al it also covers the top crease right here. So we'll just give it some more presses. And same thing here. Um, I want to align this edge as close to the one that I just put on and then I'm just going to wrap it that way. So of course I care about making sure that this edge covers the top part right here. I don't care if there's really any exposed at the bottom because nobody's going to see that. I want to make sure that the top is, is covered so if somebody walks up on the car they can't see an obvious gap there. Good to go with that side, let's get the other one. And again, same principle on this side. Just make sure you're as close to the center section as possible. Make sure that you're up so that you don't have any of the chrome showing. And that's it, that's what it looks like. So let's take a look at this installed on the vehicle. Let's do a walk around. That is the end of the video. Now, if you learned anything at all today, remember, crime doesn't pay. And whoever stole my carbon fiber grill, you. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you guys liked the remodifications, things I've already done before, things that have been on the car, but hopefully you guys enjoyed them. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. And uh, again, hopefully you guys have a fantastic summer and y'all stay safe.